an American pickup for $45,000, broke down at 80,000 miles. A Japanese one for 38,000, drove 300,000 miles without major repairs. I'm going to show you two facts that dealers hide when they sell you a new pickup. Look, I analyzed data on 47,000 pickups over the last five years, and you know what? The average American pickup starts breaking down seriously after 75,000 miles. Japanese, after 155,000 miles. That's twice the difference, guys, twice. But that's not the most interesting part. The most interesting part is why this happens. And it's not what you think. You know what's the main difference between Ford F-150 and Toyota Hilux? It's not the engine, not the suspension. It's the philosophy, American approach. They produce 900,000 pickups per year at one plant. Every 32 seconds, a new pickup rolls off the assembly line. Focus on power and comfort. Japanese approach. Toyota produces 400,000 per year, half as many. Each vehicle goes through 147 quality control checkpoints. Focus on reliability. And here's a concrete example. Ram 1500 from 2019. Average repair cost over five years is $4,200. Typical problems, transmission, electronics, suspension. Toyota Tacoma from 2019. Average repair cost over five years is $1,800. Typical problems are minimal. That's a $2,400 difference over five years. But wait, that's not all. And now what dealers will never tell you. Look at these numbers. Ford F-150 base model. Price, $45,000. Fuel consumption, 18 miles per gallon. Fuel cost over five years, driving 18,000 miles per year. $12,300. Repairs, $4,200. Resale value after five years, 52%. That's $23,400. Total loss, $38,100. Toyota Hilux. Price, $38,000. Fuel consumption, 26 miles per gallon. Fuel cost over five years, $8,500. Repairs, $1,800. Resale value after five years, 68%. That's $25,840. Total loss, $22,460. You save $15,640 over five years with a Japanese pickup. That's almost a new car by the end of ownership. But you know what's the craziest thing? Most people still buy American. Why? Now I'm going to tell you when an American pickup is the best choice. Look, I'm not saying American pickups are bad. No. They're perfect if you need power for towing five to seven tons regularly. Size with a huge bed for work. Comfort with a cabin like a premium sedan. Status, yes, that matters to many people. Ford F-150, Ram 1500, Chevy Silverado are monsters in terms of capabilities. But a Japanese pickup is perfect if you need reliability for 15 to 20 years. Economy where every dollar matters. Practicality without the flash. Resale value that holds better than anything. And you know what? In countries where people buy pickups for work, not for status. In Australia, 62% choose Japanese. Middle East, 71% Japanese. Latin America, 58% Japanese. And in the USA, 78% American. Because here a pickup equals status. There it equals a tool. And now let's talk about specific 2025 models. Top three American pickups. Number one, Ford F-150 Lightning Electric, $55,000, 320 miles range, zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. The problem? Battery loses 15% capacity after three years in cold weather. Number two, Ram 1500 Limited, $58,000. Interior is fire, best in class. 3.0 Eco Diesel gets 22 miles per gallon. The problem? Electronics can be glitchy. Number three, Chevy Silverado ZR2. $62,000, off-road beast. The problem? Expensive suspension repairs. Top three Japanese pickups. Number one, Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. $52,000, legendary engine reliability. 300,000 miles without issues is normal. The downside? Interior feels dated. Number two, 
Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. $42,000, best price to quality ratio. The downside, less power compared to American trucks. Number three, Toyota Tundra New Generation. $48,000, it's a hybrid, power plus fuel economy. The downside, expensive upfront cost. Look at the difference. American trucks range from $55,000 to $62,000, powerful, comfortable, break down more often. Japanese trucks range from $42,000 to $52,000, reliable, economical, less exciting. And here's my personal verdict after 10 years of owning both. Listen, I owned both an F-150 and a Tacoma. And here's what I'll tell you if you're buying on a five to seven year loan, driving more than 15,000 miles per year, planning to keep the truck long term, get the Japanese one. You'll save at least $10,000 over ownership. If you're paying cash, trading in every three years, need real power for heavy work, get the American one. They're genuinely more powerful and more comfortable. But remember one thing, the most reliable pickup is the one you properly maintain. A Hilux with neglected oil changes will die at 100,000 miles. An F-150 with proper care will run 300,000 miles. Write in the comments which one would you choose and why. And if the video was helpful, hit that like button. It really helps the channel. See you in the next video.